Hey everyone, Billy here. Well, on this video, that will be a behind the scene of my work at the Moose Camp. But sometimes I don't show it on YouTube because mostly it's boring stuff for you guys. It's the reality, everyone, when you have a camp in the woods. <laughs> All right, so let's do a boring video. Woo! <laughs> Yes. All right, I forgot. I've got two more machine. This one, it's a little bit broken, but this one is easier, you know, because it goes forward by itself compared to the other one, it's holder. But I like to have two more machine because uh, it's a great way, you know, to go faster when I am with uh, my girlfriend <laughs> or a friend, you know. Which doesn't happen too much, actually. <laughs> Usually I didn't do it by myself. <laughs> no gas. Oh, my friend. That's a very good start of the day. Oh, my friend. Oh, oh well, no gas. Forgot. Okay. Let's go back. Oh, man. But I forget. This is the way I am. Why do I cut grass right now? Is three reasons. First, mice. The mice can hide into high grass, which you know make them invisible from the birds that eat. The mice. Trees are growing up all the time, so you know it prevents some trees to grow around the cabin. And third, moisture. There is a lot of moisture around the grass, so to prevent the log from rotting. I cut this wood about three years ago already. So instead, you know, to leave it rot in the in, in the forest, I just gather the whole pile of wood here, which would be good, you know, for the wood stove or inside. It's not the best for the wood stove, I know, but you know, instead to rot it, you know, in the forest, I'd rather to use it. This is something I don't show on YouTube. No, 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 because this is boring. <laughs> Yeah, this is not the best wood at all. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's just very humid. It's half rotten. Yeah, well, I waited too long to cut it off. <laughs> too bad. But, well, that's the, that's the way it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 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 this is my machine and now the battery is dead. So I'm just going to fix the battery. But honestly, it's been two years since I haven't, you know, used it. So I'm very curious what will happen. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> okay, negative here. It's done. Positive. All right. So the light is it on. The light is on. Shit. That's too bad. Oh man, I'm disappointed. You know, 
this wouldn't have been on YouTube, I'm telling you. Well, this is a lot of things like this happen. So what I will have to do, I will have to bring it to the garage. Mm. I need at least, at least a full week a year. Just, you know, to make sure everything's fine around. So, yeah. But, you know, it's like, keep you in shape. I'm losing, <laughs> I'm losing my, <laughs> I'm losing some weight <laughs> for my trip <laughs> in France. Oh, my friend. You know, I really wanted to show you what do I have to do every year. You know, the time that I spend here off cam. <laughs> and there is, this, you know, I'm just watching behind the camera and oh, my friend, there is so much stuff to do. But uh, yeah, there's never ending. And it's good to have always, you know, some project in mind. And I do have a lot. I see you very soon for another video in the woods. As always, thank you for watching. It's much appreciated, guys. And thank you for your comment and everything. It's always great, you know, to hear from you. And as always, I would like to thank my sponsor, Princess Soto, which is very great for the tools that I need to fix up my cabin <laughs> and fix up everything around. And uh, live your passion, live the adventure as always. See you guys. Bye-bye.